how to create a party decorations e-commerce website on Weebly. Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own e-commerce or online store using this platform. So let's get started by clicking on the sign up button to create a new account. And if you already have an account, just go with login and proceed to type in your email or your username. And after typing your email, you click on the next button to proceed to type in your password. So just give it a few seconds to load. And you will be able to type in your password right now. So after typing your password, you click on login. After logging in, the first step of creating your store is choosing a name for the store. So it doesn't matter what name you give it now, you can always change the name later. So after choosing the name, click on continue. Then you have a question and you have three answers. You choose the answer that fits you most. And then you do the same with this other question. Then you proceed to choosing the category of the items that you will be selling. So my store is in the niche of party decorations. So I'm going to choose classes and events and also so I'm just going to leave it with classes and events then I'm going to click on continue and if you can't find your category in this list you just click on other then you click on continue then if you already have a store in the real world you give them the address of that store if not just skip this step and then you proceed to building your store and then you will see your dashboard right now so as you can see this is the dashboard here and in your right you have the edit side button which takes us to the editing phase and also we have the design now button and the design now button is the same as the edit side button they all take us to the editing phase and in your left you have nine sections and i'm going to explain each one of them then I'm going to proceed to the editing phase. So I'm going to start with website and it's where you have the edit side button where you can also proceed to the editing phase and also you have the domains button where you can set your domain name or change the one that you already have. Then we have the items section where we have the site items, site categories, options, coupons, gift cards and so on and in this section by clicking on the site items you can create new products or delete the ones that you already have and in the site category you can categorize the products that you created before and you can also make categories if you want so that's it for this section then we have the orders section where you can check all of your orders and manage the ones that you already have or check the fulfilled one the shipped ones and the cancelled ones also then we have the fulfillment section where you have where you can set your pickup settings and your shipping settings then we have the reports section where you have the sites traffic reports sites activity reports sources reports online sales reports site items abundant cards and coupons and if you want to see the summary of all these reports just click on the summary right in here so that's it for this section then we have the marketing section where you can find every tool that is related to growing your audience starting with email automated ads mailing lists segments setup and again if you want to see the summary of all these tools just click on summary then we have the communications section where you have the email and text alerts pop-ups messenger and abundant cards and last but not least, we have the settings section where you have the general settings by, and by clicking on it, you will proceed to a place where you can change your company name, your address, your phone number and your email. So just give it a few seconds to load. And it's loading. So this is it where you can change your company name, your address, your email and your phone number. Then we have the checkout where you can set your payment processors like connecting your Stripe account or connecting your PayPal account and also we have 
the country and the currency if you want to change them right in here then we have the sales taxes where you can set your tax settings and we have the units where you can change the language or edit the units that you already have so that's it guys for these sections let's go back to the overview and let's proceed to the editing phase by clicking on the edit side button and then it will take a few seconds so it will take a few seconds to load so just be patient it will not take very much time as you can see just a second while we build your site and it's building and as you can see here we have the setup guide if you want to go with it if not just ignore it it will disappear right now and it's loading now it will show up the first step which is choosing a style for our site or our online store as you can see the styles and here you just need to wait for the store to fully load then you choose one of these styles and you see if it fits your store so just give it a few seconds for the template to be fully loaded and there it's loading as you can see here after it's fully loaded as you can see you choose one of these styles so i'm going to choose this one and then click on hide styles and check if it fits your store so i think i'm going to change this one i'm going to change it to this other one and then let's check so i think this one will do the job so after choosing your style click on apply site styles then you proceed to the site's design where you can again change the site style also change the image call add an image to be your logo sorry change colors fonts which i'm going to do i'm going to change the fonts from this one to comforta this one so i'm going to use i'm going to use comforta and i will leave it like that then click on done then i'm going to change the shape of the buttons and the images from sharp to rounded and for images it's already rounded so let's leave it like that and then let's click on done with the site's design and here you have this one if you want to set up your domain if not you just close it and here you can adjust all of these pages that you have if you want to add new ones if not you just need to adjust these ones that you have so that's it guys for today's video i hope you found it useful don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends